are going to go to the library homepage. Link is on the left hand side of Blackboard. And we are going to find two resources on our topic that are scholarly resources using Find It. Okay, so what I want you to include on in your paper will be the topic and the specific title or the specific um, statement or question that you have, the point that you would want to make in writing a paper about it. So, I'm going to use junk food. And I just simply put junk food, so I got a lot of results, 131,000, that's searched in everything. Um, I'm going to add another word so that um, it narrows it down, as you saw in the video. So, junk food and children. And that knocked it down quite a bit. It's 54,000 now. Now, I can do articles only. I can do that right off the bat. I can. Okay, so it was only giving me articles. So, junk food and children and obesity. Okay, I'm going to look at the first few. Health buzz, junk food laws. Now, that's a newspaper article. We don't want that. So, I'm going to um, narrow it by peer reviewed journals. Because newspaper articles are technically articles. All right. Um, taxing junk food to counter obesity. Let's view online. Okay, so it's in an EBSCO database. That's what I want you to do is click out on the find it result, go to the go to the source. Okay, you can read the abstract to avoid having to read the whole article right away to see if it's relevant or not. This is in the American Journal of Public Health. These are subject terms. These help you find more articles related to the same subject. So if this is a great article. You might want to use these to find more articles on these specific parts of the topic. So if I were to click on compulsive behavior, and this search was about junk food and obesity, let's see what this leads to. Okay, so it leads to articles about food and children and impulse. Let's go back. That's, I just wanted to show you what that does. Okay, so I want to read the entire article because this one is just perfect for my topic. I, I picked junk food as my topic and I picked um, children and obesity and maybe, maybe I'm going to look at the effect that uh, having junk in the schools has on childhood obesity. But I'm not sure yet because I'm reading more on it, and all right, this, these are other resources related, so this is another way to find more resources, by looking for these articles, or in this case, here's something from uh, the government, U.S. Department of Agriculture, There's, there is a table here. So those are the kind of links that you can look at. They're, they're recommended by, they are referred to by the person who wrote this article. So I want this article. I am going to click on the link and copy the permanent link like you've done before. The other thing I'm going to do is click on this piece of notebook paper here. When you hover over it, you see that it says Cite. Okay, you want the APA style. And I would like you to take that and copy and paste that as well. So you'll have the permanent link and the citation on your document. I also want you to keep one of the two articles that you're going to find for this week. Okay, so back to where we were, find it results. Let's look at another article. I want to 
to show you one that is in a different database so that you can see how to find the permanent link from other databases that look different. That's nature. That's going right to the journal. one in ProQuest. So should you happen to choose an article that's in a ProQuest database, which there are at least 15 that are ProQuest, different databases but made by the same company. Here's my article. Here's my abstract. Click on that tab. Gives me the abstract. The full text is available. We saw that first. But what you need to do to get the permanent link for this one, should you want to use this article, is you need to go to that deta abstract and details tab and go to where it says document URL. Not the DOI, not this. That is a digital object identifier. And that is um, that is perfectly good to use in a citation, in a, in a reference page of a paper, but for the point of this, I want to be able to go back and look at the article that you chose. So I want you to do the document URL, okay? And then in this database, the citation information is under cite, those little quotation marks. So you'll see it doesn't have the link, it has this digital object number. So what you're going to do is copy and paste this whole, make sure it's APA, that's what we're using, APA, and you're going to copy and paste that as well as that document URL into the same document as the other one. Okay, and more directions will be on the assignment. Also, I want you to remember that it's a process, it takes time, you may have to come up with other words, you may have to come up with something more specific, it could be uh, your topic's too broad or, or it could be that it's too specific. So you need to play around with it, investigate further, you might not know exactly what you want to write about, but pick something that you um, want to take a stand on or something that is a is a question that you would want to research and find out answers or solutions to. So with that, I'll leave you here.